I want to talk about some of the things that aren't really spoken about in the forex space. So I've been trading for almost over a year and a half and in today's video I wanted to share some of the things that I've learnt and how that has changed my life. Well to start off with one of the first things I could say straight off the bat is um, self-development and self-awareness. Those things have dramatically impacted my life and I became you know, exposed to that because of trading. So I began building certain systems and processes geared towards you know, being the best version of myself. And um, you know, that was super key to, to, to be in that state of mind and that has dramatically improved all other areas of my life, whether that be relationships, uni, um, studies, um, family stuff, you know, dealing with past trauma. And this just sort of leads on to how I started to get into reading. You know, I grew up thinking reading was for nerds, um, where I like my environment, my family, we, we don't read, you wouldn't see a book. Um, so I began like reading and listening to podcasts and that literally changed everything because instead of just, you know, listening to news or, or drama or looking through memes or those kind of like not really productive stuff, during my commutes to uni, I, I began flooding my brain with positivity, um, knowledge, um, and just taking in, you know, words of wisdom from people and mentors like Gary V, Andy Frisella, Jay Shetty. And, you know, this just sort of goes into um, how that has helped me manage in my anxiety and my emotions, like I said. Um, just being self-aware of your different triggers, your thought patterns, those cycles that you know you may play out. You know, all these things go hand in hand, especially with trading, because mental clarity is imperative and self-awareness when you are trading the markets. And I would say this also ties in with consciousness. Um, so I would say that your level of consciousness is tied in with your level of awareness. So if you are trading uh, from a low level of consciousness, you may be trading out of fear or greed or even desperation, but imagine turning that around and you know elevating your level of consciousness, then you would be trading from a place of peacefulness and acceptance and that will change your results for sure. I didn't just want to learn um, how to trade, but I wanted to learn how to be a good trader. Um, so that's why I really like got obsessed with the process after you know realizing how we basically live like 90% of all the other days that really changed my perspective on life and that's where I started to take like responsibility for absolutely everything so just being able to like constantly work on myself and you know progress in like my personal development journey um, you know help minimize situations like in trading tweaking my stop loss unnecessarily you know if you dig deep you know, that will come from something, whether that be the fear of being wrong, which if you dig even deeper might be an inner voice in our mind of, you know, our mum, our dad telling us off for doing something wrong. So then you always fear, feel like you need to be right. I feel like there's always just that reason um, of why we react a certain way in the markets. And, and that comes back to what are, what are our thought patterns, our belief patterns, and what did we go through? And what is our, sort of like our internal conditioning? Because I kid you not, if you are not working on yourself and if you are not being aware of your weaknesses, then those weaknesses will come bite you in the ass and, you know, will definitely affect your trading. So you'll kind of realize how I haven't spoken a lot about money, um, lavish cars, watches, Lambos, um, houses, whatever. And um, to be honest, because that's not really my definition of success. Right now, I don't really care. Um, that's going to put a lot of you off, I know. You know, what success means to me is sort of just being able to, to strive and reach for my full potential, um, constantly working towards the best person I can be, while also leading by example to my family and others as a byproduct. And I know that everything else, the profit, the money, things like that, will, will come. It's not highly spoken about in this forex space. Um, and, you know, you really got to fall in love with the journey. And what I find that's more impressive isn't, you know, having the financial freedom but it was your journey towards it and your journey as a person as a trader um as you're you know as you're going towards financial freedom because after all the trials and tribulations the ups the downs the frustrated nights the waves of anxiety and depression but you know you wake up the next day you're still continually persisting until you succeed 
but hopefully in a few years time um, you know I'll be able to remake this video and sort of share more maybe um, other things and it'll be cool to look back on remember that this channel is my documentation of my personal trading journey it's not a how to trade forex um, channel you know I'm, I'm trying to be as real as I can and just things you don't really see on YouTube and things like that and it's 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 quite sad because there's a lot of like negativity towards forex and a lot of this get rich quick mentality and as if you know it's it's an easy thing to do but it's definitely like it's not it's not a sprint it's a marathon you know you got to be in it for the long game and hopefully um you you guys will continue to watch my videos you'll see that it's not always about the money or the profits yes we're here to make money but if you're if that's all you're in it for if there's no purpose behind that if there's no real deep you know like sort of meaning behind why why you want to get this money or financial freedom then you've already lost and and you know i may not be you know where i want to be but i know i'm on my way Ooh.